Hello friends and welcome to Techie Jack. In this video we are going to configure client access services in Exchange Server 2016 and we will configure namespace, internal and external URL for our Exchange Server and we will also configure internal auto discover URL for our Exchange Server. So let's get started. So right now I am on a DC computer and our Exchange is still using a default settings. If you go to the you are like exchange.techiejack.com exchange is a computer name for the exchange server so I want to change it with for a mymail.techiejack.com so in order to do that we have to configure our DNS settings so let's see first uh, by opening the exchange management shell and for that we have to go on our exchange server this is our exchange server and we will open our exchange management shell and we will see like uh, where our auto discover URL is pointing right now in order to do that run this command here and I'll find the URL for our auto discover so right now you can see the auto discover service internal URL is HTTPS exchange dot dot com auto discover dot XML so I want to change it as a mymail.techiejack.com so what we have to do we have to go to the DNS so let's go to the DNS on our Active Directory server let's open the DNS and point to the DNS zone by the name of techiejack and I'll create a new host A record here and I'll put the name my mail and you can see the fully qualified name is mymail.techiejack.com and the IP address for this will be 192.168.2.12 and I'll create the associated pointer record for this record so the host name is uh, added and uh, reverse lookup zone uh, the pointer record is also added so let's click on done and we will minimize this so now let's go to the exchange server and configure our auto discovered URL for internal now I'm on a exchange server and let's open the exchange management shell and we will configure in order to configure uh, auto discover URL you have to run this CMD let's if you see that get client access service set client access service auto discover service internal URI, URI as a HTTPS mymail.techiejack.com and I'll hit enter so the command is done now and let's see if our URL has been changed or not in order to check that I'll put this command like get client you can press the tab for get client access service space pipe and format list name comma auto and star and now I will hit enter and if you see here uh, now the auto discover service internal URI is HTTPS mymail dot dot com auto discover slash auto discover dot xml so let's go and figure our internal and external URL domain name is techiejack slash okay we are now in a exchange admin center so uh, now we 
need to go to our virtual directories uh, to navigate uh, to the virtual directory you have to click on servers and here you can see the virtual directories and you can see uh, the OWA website here the external URL is uh, empty so let me configure this sign you can click on this pencil sign to edit and our internal URL is exchange.tigijack.com so I'm going to change it as a my mail and I'll put the same on the external URL as well and now I click on save now our internal and external URL is set now it says the warning like you have changed the internal and external URL so it will be same for the ECP as well so now you can see here our external URL is HTTPS mymail.techiecheck.com and the internal URL is also the same so now we have set our OWA internal URL and external URL we have also configured the internal URL for auto discover and we have also configured the namespace by adding a host a record so guys please do subscribe the channel for more upcoming updates and the rest of the part will be covered in next video so let's meet in a next video